Good morning, fellow backcountry campers. If you're wondering where I am, and believe it or not, I'm <laughs> engulfed in the desert once again. Except this time, I've uh, I've backpacked up Golden Ears Peak. Uh, now, last week I was talking a little bit about motivation, and one of the things that uh, usually gets me motivated, along with the photography, or for photography, is a bit of exercise. And to be honest with you, the last while I haven't been terribly good about getting exercise. I think it's really important to uh, be in reasonably good shape, um, especially if I want to go into areas that uh, I want to photograph that you know aren't so popular. It usually involves a bit of backpacking or backcountry hiking. So I've come up to Golden Ears. I uh, got here around seven o'clock last night. I didn't film my uh, my my uh, trek up. To be honest with you, I wasn't <laughs> in the greatest shape when I got here. Uh, hiking up here is is pretty brutal, and if you haven't done anything for a while, it uh, especially with a pack, it it can really hurt. <laughs> so uh, it's only uh, it's about 12 kilometers, but it's the elevation gain. It's 15. Hundred meters. Anyway, I uh, I got up uh, early, early this morning, and the whole peak or and the surrounding area is just socked right in. But now the sun's starting to come out, so now I'm not going to get any morning light. But I believe that yes, I can actually see the summit. So that's a good sign. I don't think I'm going to be going to the summit today though, but I might be able to get some great shots right where I'm at. So I guess I better get up and have some breakfast and, uh, and get my camera out. All right. <laughs> hut right here but to be honest with you I I avoid huts like the plague uh, usually because they're infested with mice and uh, yeah good case in point see my pots full of mouse poo uh, I'll add a bit of flavor to my oatmeal I guess All right, now I found a spot not far from my tent. It's like a little promontory, uh, kind of goes up a little bit and it overlooks, well, the peak is behind me here. And then, well, <laughs> you can't see it right now, but down here is the ridge line where we hike, where, where I hiked up. And there's another peak over here. I'm not sure the name of this peak, but it's really rugged land around here. Uh, not ideal conditions, but it has some possibilities. Um, probably might be good for, uh, for time lapse. So I might do a few time lapse uh, today instead of, well, maybe take the odd picture. Now and then this whole area will have cloud and then it'll open up in sections. So it looks quite beautiful. But <laughs> right now it's really socked in, except for the sun, it's hitting my face. <laughs> Okay, now this is just fantastic. Um, you have to be quick though, the, and I'm not sure if it'll, if it'll translate or not, but the clouds will clear every now and then and, and they'll have these beautiful layers of, of peaks with clouds all mixed in there. It's just gorgeous. I'm hoping to get some drone footage, but I, I'm a bit worried because it's a little bit foggy and uh, I don't want to lose the drone. <laughs> I might wait for it to, the fog to 
hopefully uh, just dissipate just a little bit more than it is now. See, now the peaks are gone. So you have to be really quick. Anyway, I'll just keep waiting here and plugging away at it. seems to be clearing up a little bit you can just down here you can just see the edge of uh, pit lake it's just gorgeous up here it's uh it's just too bad <laughs> the clouds are so thick but can you imagine what this would be like in the in the evening or in the mo early in the morning with clouds like this but it just didn't happen this morning I did manage to uh, get some drone footage, uh, but then the clouds moved in and I lost it for about two minutes there. So I panicked a bit and I had to push the home button and it did fly home quite nicely. No worse for wear. <laughs> oh, this is just great. Right, time to set up and, uh, and take a few shots, I guess. <laughs> Right, the clouds are starting to move, move out nicely now. We get a pretty good view of Pit Lake now. So you can see uh, we're pretty high up here. That's why it's such a slog. <laughs> there are a few other people up here. Last time I came up here, uh, I just came for the day and uh, hiked around to the summit, but uh, not this time, that's for sure. <laughs> The peaks back here are quite spectacular. I might see if I can get over there and, uh, and take a few shots over there. I'm not sure if I can get over there very easily, but I'll give it a go. Uh, this is just great. Just sitting here watching the clouds swirl around the peaks here. So what I've decided to do is do more um, uh, time-lapse. So I'm taking a time-lapse of these peaks here clouds swirling all around the peaks now and then it'll just be at a total wide out and then uh, the peaks will suddenly reveal themselves just awesome looking i might try and take some photographs of this afterwards but I, i'm not sure i mean the light's pretty harsh so we'll give it a go though anyway there's me complaining about the light again <laughs> Thank you. 
thing to hike up without a pack on but when you got a pack on man it makes it twice as hard am I inspired well yes I'm inspired to go home and have a shower and uh, jump into bed <laughs> in all seriousness no I mean yeah it was uh, it was uh, pretty exhausting but uh, any time outside is, is always worth it regardless of how much effort you put into it the conditions were just fantastic. The clouds, um, I could have spent the whole day just looking at the clouds moving in and out. So that was worth it in itself. Right, till next time. Thanks again for watching. All right, bye.